down this street You're relaxed and feeling good yeah. Next thing that you know You'll see an octopus in the neighborhood There's long cold winters and a short cool summers. Mm. The temperatures average from negative 34 degrees Celsius to around 7 degrees Celsius. It doesn't snow often, there's little rainfall in the winter, and it's usually partly cloudy. But Miss Frizzle, why aren't there so many plants? Oh, 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 I know, I know, I know, I know. There's this thing called permafrost, and it's a layer of permanently frozen subsoil that consists of mostly gravel and other material. That's what my book says. Right here. On the surface, bogs and ponds may form, but since there are no deep root systems in the tundra, there aren't many plants, only about 1,700 different species. Fantastic! That means that there's low biodiversity. So what can you tell me about the animals? Well, some animals can adapt to the harsh weather, and most of them just hibernate in the winter. How? Oh, so there's lemmings, caribou, and polar bears too? There's also loons, ravens, sandpipers, moths, flies, and grasshoppers. Come on, class, it's time to go. Let's go get some hot chocolate. <laughs> Let's review, class. In what ways will global warming affect the tundra? The Quisha. Well, due to its latitude, the tundra warms faster than any other region on the Earth. Well, it says here in the next 100 years, the Earth is supposed to rise an extra 7 to 12 degrees Fahrenheit. The snow and ice reflects about 80% of the solar radiation that beams down, causing the ice to melt. Gee whiz, today was so much fun! Not as fun as a polar bear! Okay. Indeed! There's also loons, ravens, sandpipers... There it goes my mouth! <laughs> Iceburgers. 